What's up YouTube, Joseph Perrin here, Perrin Power Sports, and today we're gonna be looking at how to install your torque converter onto your Predator 212 engine. So let's get right into it. So we have our torque converter here from Amazon, and this is about a $70 torque converter. So it's gonna run you about $50 more than your centrifugal clutch but it gives you way more power and acceleration and it's definitely worth it if you have a small go-kart that you're looking to upgrade. So the tools you're gonna need to install your torque converter are a crescent wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and a one half or 13 millimeter ratchet or wrench. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our uh, main plate here and we're gonna slide our shaft through the middle of it. So now that that's on there, we're gonna take our keyed washer and slide that onto the shaft. So now that you've installed your shaft and your keyed washer, you're gonna to wanna to take your key and slide it into the shaft. When you're doing this, make sure to slide the key into the keyed part of the washer. All right, so now that you have your key on there, the next step is gonna to be to install your sprocket. When you buy this kit, you're gonna get two different sprockets. And depending on the size of your chain, you're gonna to wanna to match up that sprocket with your chain. When you're installing the sprocket, make sure to line up your key on your sprocket with the key on the shaft. All right, so now that you've installed your sprocket, the next step is gonna to be to take your pulley and slide it onto your shaft. When you're doing this, make sure your spring is facing up on your pulley. And once again, make sure to line up the key on your pulley with the key on your shaft. So now that you've installed the pulley, you're gonna to wanna to take your washer and slide it onto the shaft. And then you're gonna take your nut and screw it in to tighten down the pulley. While you're tightening this nut, you're gonna to need to stick your flathead screwdriver into the pulley and use your wrench to tighten it down. So the next step is gonna to be to install your torque converter onto your engine. When you're doing this, make sure not to lean your engine back because it will cause oil to go into your carburetor and then your engine won't run correctly. So when you're installing your torque converter, it's gonna be at an angle, kind of like this, and this will be the lowest point of your engine. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna prop up the one end of your engine so that your torque converter will fit. So now what you're gonna wanna do is stick all your lock washers onto your bolts. So now that you've done that, you're gonna take your torque converter and line it up with the holes on the engine. I'm gonna be using the center holes for this installation. Now you're gonna take your bolts and lightly thread them all into the engine. Okay, so before using a ratchet or an impact driver on your bolts, make sure to tighten them down a few turns so that you don't strip out your engine block. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish tightening these bolts onto the engine. So now that you've lightly tightened your bolts, you're gonna wanna finish tightening them in an X pattern to distribute the stress. So the next step's gonna be to take your collar and slide it onto the shaft of your engine. So now that you've installed your collar, you're gonna to wanna to take the first part of your pulley and slide it onto the shaft. When you're doing this, make sure to line up your key on the shaft with the key on the pulley. So the next step is gonna to be to take your brass collar and slide it onto the shaft. So now that you've installed your brass collar, you're gonna to wanna to take your belt and install it onto the torque converter. Then you're gonna take this little piece here and slide it onto the shaft. Make sure when you're doing this, to line up the slits on this piece facing out. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take this part of the pulley and slide it onto the shaft. When you're doing that, make sure the springs are facing out. Then you're gonna take your cover for this pulley and slide it on. When you're doing this, make sure to line up the slots on that piece with the slots on the pulley. To tighten this bolt down, you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver and slip it into that slot and then ratchet your bolt tight.
And that's how you install the torque converter onto your Predator 212 or other small go-kart engines. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.